Well, this was an emotional moment captured in a snapshot at the marathon finish line. Two runners helping a third runner as he was completing the 26.2 mile race. The heat had taken its toll on the man, and tonight he's still in the hospital. Dr. Malika Marshall is here with us now. And Malika, I know you actually spoke with him in the hospital. I did. He was actually still in intensive care. You know, you might expect that older people or those with underlying medical conditions would get the sickest during a marathon, especially in higher than normal temperatures. But this year, one of the sickest patients was young, healthy and an experienced runner. Not exactly the way Ari Offsevit hoped to cross the finish line at the Boston Marathon, but cross it he did, barely conscious and with the help of two strangers. The 31-year-old Newton native admits he was pushing himself hard, trying to beat last year's time, but as he approached the end... I sort of vaguely remember being on Boylston Street and looking down and seeing the finishing shoot, but I don't remember anything past that. After being carried across, he was whisked into the medical tent where his temperature was measured at 108.8 degrees Fahrenheit. He was plunged into an ice bath, then transferred to Tufts Medical Center, where the medical staff admits it was touch and go. His condition was uh, severe and serious. This is the worst case I've seen. But thanks to the quick actions of his fellow runners, the volunteers in the medical tent, Boston EMS, and the staff at Tufts, Ari is expected to recover and may go home tomorrow. I'm happy to see him looking like that. It does humble you about how fast um, things can change and how life is precious. Ari says thinking back to the devastation of 2013, this is a year we can celebrate. To have really a joyful marathon where the picture is of people helping each other. And it's not people with, you know, devastating injuries. That is a blessing. Now, Ari is so grateful to the men and women who saved his life and hopes to run in next year's marathon. And Tufts sees more patients with mar marathon-related illnesses than any other Boston hospital. And Ari was their first of the day. But instead of dealing with heat stroke, like the folks in the medical tent saw with a temperature of 108.8 degrees, at Tufts they were dealing with hypothermia. His temperature had plunged down to 88 after being in the ice bath. So he's he went to both One temperature extreme. extremes yeah. and thankfully is actually doing okay. So what happened to him? Because it was warm out, but it wasn't that hot. You know, he was really pushing himself hard. And this is what they told me in the medical tent. These were the people they were worried about. Not the people that, because it's warm, they're going to start taking it easy, but the people who were really going to continue to push despite temperatures in the 70s. He said he felt great most of the race. And then when he started to near the end, he doesn't really remember much of anything. He from, woke up at Tufts. From what I understand, he was trying so hard to break that three-hour mark that he pushed himself too hard. That's right, but he wow. still made a time of like three. Exactly. <laughs> Holy cow. Unbelievable. Well, good report. Thank you so much, Thank Doctor. You. Appreciate it.